What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with another episode of Airport CEO. Now in this episode, if you guys watched the last one, you guys know that we started working on this restroom over here. Uh, we demolished the restrooms that were kind of blocking our conveyor belt system and like our shopping area. And we are going to relocate those restrooms, we're going to make them bigger, badder, and I guess less smelly. And we're going to put those suckers down here at the bottom. Uh, let's go ahead and start working on that. Oh yeah, we need to designate it as a restroom area piece of cake there's one restroom area there's a second restroom area let's go ahead and make this female we'll go ahead and make this one over here male good 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 now let's start adding all the goodies like the sinks the urinals and the toilets so we're gonna want to have the sinks over here up against this wall and then we've got the uh, this is gonna be our our, uh, our trash can spots this is gonna be the door so let's go ahead and put some more sinks over here on this wall because we need more than just six, you know, six sinks in here. Because we're gonna have hundreds and hundreds of passengers coming in through these uh, these restrooms down here. So that's good there. Let's go ahead and do the toilets. Rotate those bad boys. And this is the female one, so we're just gonna do nothing but the actual toilets. Um, there we go. All right, women don't use urinals, at least not most of the time. Uh, and I think we kind of want to do this one uh, half and half. I feel like, you know what, those toilets there are fine. Let's go ahead and do more urinals now. Uh, come on, want to make sure they're facing the right way too. I'm kind of excited too because I think today, later today, I'm recording this early, early in the morning. I think once it gets a little bit later, I'm going to go out there and I'm going to actually uh, do, start doing some upgrades. Uh, I'm probably going to get a little bit more RAM for my computer, going to get a new keyboard. Hopefully the keyboard I'm planning to get isn't too loud so you guys won't have to hear the clicking in the background. Um, if you guys do, I'll probably have to do a little bit more editing to get that out. But hopefully um, tomorrow's video or the next day's video depending on when I publish this, hopefully that one will be a little bit better because uh, I'll be getting a little bit more RAM. Which you know really doesn't affect the video but it is going to speed up my editing time and all that stuff. And then also the keyboard. Um, if you guys do hear any clicking, I apologize. But, you know, it comes with the territory. Getting a new, probably a mechanical keyboard. So that's going to be pretty sweet there. Um, also, I'm looking at getting a new graphics card. Which right now I'm using like a, I think I'm using a 670. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but I built this computer about a year ago. The 670 was decent. I mean, it's still a great card. I've never had an issue with it. But I think I will be upgrading. And a lot of that is thanks in part to your guys' donations on PayPal and Patreon. Uh, it's huge. Uh, right now, I think on Patreon, we've got like seven supporters, which those guys are freaking awesome. If you guys support me on Patreon, I appreciate it so, so much. It is a huge, huge help, all your donations on there. And all of you guys that have donated on PayPal, too. You guys are freaking awesome. I mean, you guys are making this possible. Your donations are the reason I can afford a new keyboard and afford some more RAM. Which is, again, going to help me with like my video, video editing. So thank you guys very, very much. Um, but yeah, I am planning on probably getting a new video card here soon. Maybe not today. Um, because the video card I want to get is a little bit more expensive than what I could afford right now. But um, I'm looking to get either a 1080 or a 1080 Ti. Because it seems like the 1080 Ti is what most of the big YouTubers are using. I'm talking of like Corrales. I think like NerdCube uses it. Um, maybe like C-Top, uh, you know what, I'm not sure. But a lot of the YouTubers do use the 1080 Ti. So if it's good enough for them, it's definitely going to be good enough for me, right? So I'll either get that one, but that one's pretty expensive. So I might kind of downgrade just one notch and just go for the regular 1080. Uh, we can't open these yet. Oh, we can. I thought we couldn't because we don't have the actual toilets or, or urinals in here yet. But anyways, hopefully in the next few weeks or months, I'll be uh, I'll be able to afford the 1080 or the 1080 Ti, and then these videos will be even even better, graphical quality and all that good stuff there. But uh, yeah, anyways, so our restrooms down here are pretty much done. Uh, the sinks are all in there, the toilets, and some of these urinals have already been installed. They're gonna go ahead. They're gonna knock out the rest of that stuff. Now let's focus on our little food court area here. What I'm thinking, uh, I, th I think we're gonna want to do. This whole bottom wall over here. I think we're going to do food. So if we did something like this. I mean, maybe we'll do three. How many squares is this? 47. 
All right, so 47. If we divide 47 by 3, that's going to come out to about 15. We could do 15 each, and then we'll do the wall in the middle. That would work. Um, what if we did, like, 15 by... 15 by 11. I'm trying to think... If we do 15 by 11, what kind of contract would we be able to sign? Would we be able to do a... Whatever this one is over here. Oh, uh, see, that's not even big enough. No, it's not big enough for the three. It's definitely big enough for the two. Uh, we're only needing 135 uh, size, and that's 165. Uh, however, this one needs 226. So you know what I'm thinking. Well, let's go ahead. Clearly, this isn't large enough. We're going to delete the room, and then we're going to make it bigger. Um, so let's do food. Again, we want it to be 15. We know that. So let's do 15 by, what, what would, is that big enough? 15 by 15. My math is horrible. So sign a contract. I want to do the three star. It is. That's actually 225 and it only needs 199. So we could lower it by one. We could, yeah, we could lower it by one. So what we do, 15 by 15. Let's go ahead and delete that one. We'll do 15 by 14. How's that sound? Uh, areas, food, 15 by 14. 15 by 14 there. We'll do 15 by 14 here. And then with the wall that we're going to put in between all those, we should be good. So all those are going to be 15 by 14, okay? Let's go ahead and put the walls that are going to separate it. So we'll do something like that. Something like that. And then, um, you know, let's just do like a little mini wall or something. Nothing crazy. Uh, ch -ch 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 -ch. Bam. 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 That's going to be beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We can go ahead, we can sign these contracts too. So over here, let's sign the... Uh, let, let's do sushi. I, I like sushi. I don't know if you guys do, but sushi's pretty solid. What? Now it's not large enough? 210. It needs 226. Oh, you know what? They need different requirements. Ooh, that kind of sucks. So, let's see. The Italian kitchen, it's good for the Italian kitchen. They only want 205. So we can do that. The bean is also good enough. The sushi place, that kind of sucks, because I wanted to do a sushi place. Oh, well. Valentino here, also not big enough for Valentino. Interesting. So, you know what? Let's just, uh... Let's just not mess around. And let's actually just do it. We'll just, we'll actually just do the, uh... The 15 by 15, then. I think that'll be large enough. Uh, so with that being said... I guess we have to delete these rooms... And we're just gonna make them all uniform. We're gonna make them 15 by 15. And then I believe that will be good enough for... That will be good enough for all those contracts. Let's see here. Sign contract. Sushi. No, it's not... Oh, by one square! You gotta... <laughs> you gotta be kidding me. Really? 225 and we need 226? <sighs> that sucks. Alright, fine. You win. You win. I'll make it one one square larger. Jesus. All right, we'll do 15 by 16 then. 15 by 16 for all of you guys. Mm -hmm. Okay, there, done, final. I'm not doing any more expansions there with the food. Wall, let's bring that up then. We'll do something like that, like that. And that is going to be all the construction we want to do over here for the food court. Now, let's see what we need in terms of, um, like, space. So if you want to sign a contract with the sushi place, we're going to need seven fridges and a cafe counter. So seven fridges, cafe counter. Over here, uh, with the bean, again, seven fridges, cafe counter. And if you want to do the Italian kitchen, uh, six fridges, Valentino's, seven fridges. So you know what, I mean... ZD's Italian Kitchen and Valentino pretty much sound the same. They both sound like Italian uh, food areas. So what I think, let's see, this one would be uh, $20 per meter and 12% airport cut. This one here, $19 and 13% cut. So essentially, they're the same thing. Almost. Not quite, but almost. So I don't think we're too concerned about... 
uh, which one of those contracts we accept and don't accept. But we do have to get seven fridges in each um, in each place. And see, this is kind of crazy here, how large that space is and then how little um, items they actually uh, require. Because I'm kind of thinking, I'm leaning towards... We could put them here towards the bottom. I'm going to do something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That'll work. You know, let's just do it. One, two, three. We'll leave a gap there, and then we'll fill this out over here. So that's going to be the seven that they need. We'll do the same thing over here. Three, leave a gap, finish that up. It's going to look good right there. And then again, we're going to do the identical thing over here. And now we need just one, right? I, th I believe we just need one, um, like, cash register, cafe counter. However, we're going to want more because we don't want them just selling at one counter. We want them selling at multiple counters. So let's do cafe counter. We'll kind of rotate this. And I'm thinking maybe over here. We'll do, like, one, two, three. No. You know what, let's do that. Yep, we'll do it just like that. And then we'll do the same thing over here. And that'll allow us to sell plenty of items. Shouldn't have long lines or anything like that. That is going to be our food space. Um, let's go ahead and have that get built. And then once it is built, we can go ahead and actually uh, sign those contracts. Now, how's the rest of our airport work in here? Uh, what time is it? It is 1600 uh, or 1800 hours, which means it's 6 o'clock. 6.17 in the evening. Plenty of passengers over here waiting on buses. Um, passengers should be going through our airport too. Uh, nope, the last flights of the day... Last flights of the day have already landed. So these should be the last guys here. Oh, uh, what's wrong with these two? One's coming in, okay. Oh, another one just landed. So those are the last flights of the day. Excellent. Also, I think we do need to kind of fix the uh, the taxiway situation over here too. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come over here to taxiways, which is under, I believe, infrastructure. Uh, yes, taxiway foundation. We're going to go with the asphalt. And then we're going to expand our taxiway foundation over here too. Now, this is something that you guys said in the comments. Um, because they don't overlap, all you really have to do is bring them up to the actual runway and just do something like that and that will then make it so that the uh, so that the airplanes can go on the taxiway then over the runway and then back on the taxiway so then we're going to connect this runway up over here as well and that'll just kind of give us another little route for some of these planes to take should help should help decongest some of these taxiways over here uh, and then obviously we're going to have to put the taxiway nodes down too right kind of signaling like hey you guys can come through here so that right there should work pretty perfectly. Once, of course, it gets completely finished. Now, in the last episode, we messed with our baggage system over here, too, which that was working absolutely beautifully. I'm not sure why this one little conveyor just kind of looks funky, like it's going to fall off a cliff. But it does work. It does come over here, and it does actually connect uh, the way it's supposed to connect. And I'll prove it to you. Well, I can't really prove it to you, because it still looks kind of messed up. But it does work, I promise. Although, we have our workers waiting over here for some of these baggage start carts to come in. Here comes one now, as a matter of fact. He's going to do this funky little U-turn type thing. Here we go. And they're going to unload this sucker. <laughs> Alright, did a really weird turn there, but hey, congrats on being able to maneuver that cart like that. These guys are going to knock it all off. Didn't don't know why I said knock it off. They're going to take all the bags off of the conveyor cart. And these guys are going to pick up some uh, conveyor, um, or some luggage on the conveyors too. It looks like they're wearing these guys' backpacks, huh? Like, they're, they're grabbing them, but it looks like they're just wearing them on their back, which is pretty funny. But I will show you guys um, that this stuff actually works here shortly. Actually, I guess all of our flights, they've already done it. They've already processed all the bags. But tomorrow, I'll definitely be able to show you guys. Alright. 
you're taking that to the plane you're gonna be taking this to a different plane you guys are unloading all those bags to get delivered to the people that just arrived which let's make sure that this is working correctly because it was kind of messing up last episode I want to say and then what's going on over here like why are you guys just hanging out are you guys actually purchasing stuff or are you guys just hanging out in the store just looking you know like when you go to the store and like hey can I help you oh no I'm good I'm just looking you know what I'm thinking this is what we're gonna do because it makes sense and it just dawned on me that it makes sense we are gonna put a cafe counter over here and actually sell twice as much so let's do something like that and then once that gets installed we'll actually be able to sell twice as many items so we shouldn't have this kind of like a backlog over here which is what I'm thinking are these people just hanging out because they can't buy anything no, maybe they're just hanging out because they're waiting on their bags. Which, we've got a little stall here. Because apparently all these bags are coming in down here. And they're just not getting picked up fast enough. Hmm. Interesting. Because we have a little log jam here, right? And the way we've got this set up, it is, um... Let's see, rooms, staff, baggage claim. See, the way we've got our baggage claim area set up where we have like four different rooms. So one flight should use this room, another flight should use this one, another flight here, and another flight here. So we should be good because we have four rooms and I want to say we have the four medium stands, right? So each stand should have like a dedicated room. Um, so a few people are still waiting on their luggage from this flight and then a whole another set, uh, set of bags from another flight came over here should be working you know a lot of these guys are probably complaining because maybe their bags got scanned and there was contraband in there at the other airport so that might be a thing and why are you just hanging out on our conveyor belt why are you hanging out there get off our freaking conveyor belt man not cool man not cool are we done is this area finished it is beautiful now we can go ahead we can sign the contract which I think I'm gonna wait until I'm gonna wait until the next day because currently it's nine o'clock at night we're not gonna have too many people coming into the airport so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow because then that'll give us the uh, the four days right or, or whatever we're gonna need to require to uh, to finish out the contract uh, so we kind of want to uh, start the contract during the busiest time just so that we can kind of ensure that we actually meet the contract oh <laughs> I got scared. I thought we had like an explosion in the toilet or something. I thought this tree was like an explosion in the wall. <coughs> oh, man. Oh. <coughs> I really thought we had like a terrorist attack at the airport. Oh, that's kind of funny. All right. Whew, I'm glad. Okay. No, no terrorist acts at no slack airport, guys. We are good. We're safe. Everything's good. Alright, now some of these passengers should be getting picked up from the bus areas because we can't fast forward yet, right? If we try to come over here to operations and fast forward, it'll say we can't because we do have passengers still at the airport. Now, these passengers here should be leaving. We have a set of passengers over here and a set of passengers over here as well. Uh, and passengers coming in still, are they, is, are they coming in because they didn't get their bags? I mean, it looks like our passengers have left the actual airport. However, this set of passengers and this set of passengers, they're just kind of hanging out. Which I'm not quite sure why. Hmm. Interesting. Oh well. So apparently we're not going to be able to simulate. And we do have more people coming in now too, so we're in the next day anyways. So we do have passengers coming in for the new day's flights. That being said, let's go ahead and then sign these contracts. So we are going to do a contract at the sushi place. We're going to put those guys over there. Uh, over here, we're going to do the the bean. Uh, $17 an hour, 12% cut. You know what? Yeah, we're going to do you. Even though it's less money, we're going to do the bean. Just because I don't want to have two Italian places back to back. Uh, so then over here, we're going to sign a contract. I think, let's see. $20 per meter and 12% cut. And then over here, uh, we get $19 and 13%. Here, we need 3,700 sales for a bonus. Here, we need 55 However, um, this one is six hours or six six days and seven hours as opposed to four days, four hours. So I think 
we're gonna go with ZDs. Let's go with ZDs. They're gonna open up here shortly, I think. And then where are we gonna allow them to take breaks? Are we gonna allow them to take breaks? Because they do need a, a break room, right? Because we, if we come over here to the break rooms, um, we can designate as allowed staff types um, franchise staff. So apparently they do need breaks. However, they're not actual airport staff. At least I don't consider them to be airport staff. I consider them to be more like contracted employees of these respective restaurant chains. You know? They're coming in here. People should start purchasing food from these uh, shops here shortly once they actually process through security which it looks like our first set of passengers for the day is coming through security right now now I'm still kinda curious as to why like why does this one have so many security personnel hmm not quite sure I mean we don't need that many and security people aren't hanging out in their actually in their actual security break room Allowed staff type, security, they're not hanging out there. So, yeah, I'm just not certain as to why they choose to hang out. You know what? Looks looks like they're gone. 444. Four, four. Nope, still got a little extra over here. You are a security employee, right? Yes. Rebecca. And then over here we have four. Over here we have four. We've got just the one inch over here, so that's good. Um, yeah. Interesting. Where did the rest of our security go? Anyways, doesn't matter. Is this contract expired? It is. Alright, so we'll sign a new contract over here too. Over here, we can only really do the Hilltop Cafe. So we'll go ahead, we'll sign that one. And then, doesn't look like we really have any passengers over here yet. Passengers. Doesn't uh, look like we have any sales. Zero sales, zero sales, zero sales. Wonder if these guys are going to come over here and purchase anything at our new food locations. Hmm, nobody's using it right now. Come on guys, somebody purchased some food over here. You know what might work? Oh, looks like some of our benches broke. Um, one sale. We have one sale. What I'm thinking, we probably need to get rid of this over here. Expires in two days and 19 hours. We have sold 931 uh, items out of a required 1700 for us to get that bonus. It is making us some decent money, but you know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna delete it uh, with an active contract. Okay. As soon as that contract expires, though, we're deleting that. We're gonna put in some more seating right there, and then that will then force some more of these people that are hungry to come down here and actually um, eat at our new food locations down here. Now we do have eight hundred thousand dollars. Can we pay off that loan? Um, loans connecting, repay which we still have nine hundred and forty eight thousand dollars left to repay so we cannot uh, repay that at the moment I wish it would kinda let you like okay I wanna repay six hundred thousand of it you know that'd be cool if it lets you do that unfortunately it does not so we, we're not gonna we're not gonna we're not gonna now how are we looking I mean I like the way our airport looks right we've got everything we need you come into the check-in area you've got restrooms you've got seating You've got your actual check-in spot. You can you have a wide variety of uh, security stations to go through. Once you do go into the terminal, I mean, we have plenty of seating. Probably could use a little bit more, to be honest with you. But there still is a, a decent amount of seating. Um, we've got the restrooms for your use over here. Uh, we have another set of restrooms over here for, you know, this restroom pretty much services these two gates over here. This restroom over here services these two gates. And that's a funky looking plane right there. What kind of a plane is that? Um, it is a manufacturer ATR. It's an ATR 72. Never heard of it. Looks pretty interesting though. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yep, that looks more like what I'm used to. That as well, and that as well. Yeah, that's, that's kind of cool. I kind of like the wing design, how it's just like a straight across, kind of like doesn't blend in with the paint job or whatever. Uh, have some broken benches over there as well. Did these ones get fixed? Yes, they did get fixed. Okay, good. 
So our, our people are fixing all the items that are breaking. And it looks like they're actually doing a pretty good job of fixing the uh, the stands here too, right? This one's at 86%. This one over here is at 100 This one over here is at 51 So that one's going to need to get fixed here soon. 61% over there. Runway is at 78 And this runway over here is at 34 um, I'm sure those are going to get fixed here uh, relatively soon though. And then we can see the taxiway is working. Apparently, yep, see, look. Beautiful. Getting worked on. Love it, love it. Breaking up some of the congestion that we had. Now, I'm thinking we probably should get one of those uh, holding points over here. Uh, we're going to rotate that sucker. So it's going to be like that. Uh, we're going to do another one over here. That one is facing the correct direction. We're going to do another one over here. Facing the correct direction there. And we're good. I think we're set. That's going to be the end of this episode, guys. We did a lot today. We did a lot. Uh, kind of finished up the restrooms down here, which right now just don't look to be uh, getting used all that much. But I'm sure they will be eventually. Hopefully. Some of these people, maybe? No? I mean, they're open. The room's open. It is designated male. Over here. Open as well, right? Yep, open. Female. So yeah, those should be getting used. Maybe they just don't like them. Maybe they don't know about them. I don't know. I don't know why they're not using them, but whatever. Not my problem right now. Yeah, sales two. Sales zero, sales two. So we installed this brand spanking new shop area, a uh, food area, and nobody's even really using it, which is pretty unfortunate. Oh, boy. All right. Well, we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Maybe it's just early. Nobody wants to do it at 7 in the morning. You know, maybe they ate breakfast before they came to the airport. Maybe we have to wait till noontime, like lunchtime, for some of these guys to to purchase some more some food items. And you know what? I'm sure once we do expand our gates, too, because I think we've got four right now. We can go ahead and continue expanding. We can build at least two, maybe even three more over here. And then they will have, like, perfect traffic. Uh, to come down here into our actual food area. So guys, that is going to be the end of the episode. Hopefully you guys liked it. If you did, do me a favor. Hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. We're getting really close to 18,000 subs. We should hit 18,000 here in the next day or two. Uh, you know, by the time this video is published, we might already be there. Anyways, guys, be sure as always to check all the links in the video description. Uh, it's got the, the no slack website where I have all the specs to my PC, stuff like that. It's got the Discord server link, which if, you know, we've already got 100 people on the Discord server and it's growing every single day, which is absolutely awesome. We've got some nice discussions on there. And yeah, hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day. And I'll see you guys later. Bye.